Today, we're gonna to be going through my around $3,000-ish cube collection. This video is gonna be pretty uncut today. So sit back, grab a cube, grab a snack, and let's go ahead and get started. And I'm actually really curious, which one of you has the most of these cubes? Let me know in the comments how many of these you have in your own personal collection. Without further ado, in front of me, I have the Thunderclap V1. So I originally bought this cube off of Amazon and it was called the New Island Phoenix. I thought it sounded pretty cool. And when I got it, it was an exact replica of the Thunderclap. It's okay. And it has a lot of corner twists, but this was the original Will It Lube cube, so it's kind of expected. Next, we have, I think this is a WRM. I'm not sure because I threw away the box and kind of forgot. So if anyone knows what this cube is, let me know in the comments, but it's pretty cool. Next up, we have our first bump cube. It's just white, nothing much to see here. And then next, we have our Thunderclap V2. Which surprisingly, I mean, let me grab another reference cube here. The colors were like really odd on the Thunderclap, as you can see, and like red's more pink. So even though this cube was really good, I just didn't love it as a speed cube because of those reasons. But pretty good cube overall. Next to the comparison cube I just used is my Huamang. I think that's what it is. This cube is really, really good. Um, it just doesn't work well with my turning style. I bought this probably about last year, and it was my main for maybe six months. But again, it wasn't the best thing out there, so I quickly moved on. Pretty cool cube, though. Let me know if you guys have this one. Next, I don't know if I can show the logo on this side, but this is a custom... Uh, this is, I think it's the Valk 3M. Yeah, with the green course. This was my first magnetized Rubik's Cube, which was pretty cool. Um, and it was actually my main from like 2015 to 2017, which is pretty awesome. But again, you know, you kind of outgrow some of these cubes. So we quickly moved on. Next up, I've got a couple of these in my collection. This is just the mini three by three. I think Speed Cube Shop sells it. I've got two of them here. I know I've got a third one laying around somewhere, but again, I don't know where that thing went. So Pretty cool cubes, um, very close in size to like the 10 by 10 mosaic that GAN offers, but they're pretty cool to have and they're like 70 cents or something, so not bad. Next up, we have another green force cube and the red one. These were just sitting on top of my pile, but pretty fun to fidget with. Again, nothing much to see here, so I'll go ahead and put those to the side along with my orange one, which for some reason never shows up the correct color on camera. It looks really deep and dark, but in person it's kind of light. So unsure what that's all about, but again, we'll put that to the side, which leaves one force cube remaining to get through, which is the blue one. Same thing with the color on this. It looks really dark on camera always has, but not quite sure what that's about. So we'll put those to the side, force cubes out of the way, Next, we'll go ahead and look at my main here. This is the Wave Rider V1. It has slight damage on it, um, just because I did a solve, got pretty upset about it, and uh, squeezed my cube and it put these little marks in it. So uh, anger is not key, um, but luckily it didn't do any damage to the cube. This cube is like a 58 millimeter, so it's a little bit larger like than a normal three by three. Wait, that's not it. Yeah, you can see it's a little bit larger, uh, which works with my big hands and like, I guess it doesn't lock as much. So my turning style is really fit for this cube. It's my main for now, but we'll see what the future holds with this. Let me know. I haven't ever seen any of these on YouTube, but they just came out like two months ago. So let me know if you have one of these. I'm pretty dang curious. Next up, we have a cube brand that stopped making three by threes long ago. It is the Fangxi Guangying. And this cube, I bought it in white caps. Probably the best decision I made in my life because this was one of the last cubes they ever offered white caps on, which was awesome. Um, I always felt like my turning and like color identification worked better with a white background. So who knows? Um, this was one of the first cubes too that used like cap pieces. 
I know they kind of do this these days, but I mean, these were removable, so you could have some kind of illusion cube if you wanted to buy two of them and like swap the caps around. But again, pretty cool. We're about a third of the way through the three by threes. And it's already looking like this is gonna be a pretty long video. Let's go ahead and kind of move around. Uh, these are dollar store three by threes. I have two of them here. This first one, um, kind of broken. I don't know if you guys saw the video, but I tried to make a bandage cube a long time ago by quite literally just drilling a screw all the way through the cube, which did not work very well, but it was pretty funny to watch. And this is one I just took the stickers off and tried to sand down. I was like 10 years old, so I guess that makes sense. Not anymore. Anyway, those are my two dollar store cubes. Next, we have one of my first speed cubes. This is the Dion Zanchi, um, and I actually ended up modding it so you can see the insides are kind of grooved out um, just because I was a kid and I wanted to see how good you can make one of these. And apparently you can make them pretty good, but they pop a lot more often than you think. But this has been restickered since with half brights, which is one of my favorite kind of color schemes on a cube. Anyway, next we have an RS3M Super with the gold interior. It's kind of like a hybrid between the V5 and the 2020, which is pretty interesting. But this is my main for, I think like six weeks or something till I could get a new cube. But Again, pretty good cube, especially for the price. Next, we have my GAN 357. This one, again, white plastic. It does not have the octopus core, unfortunately, or magnets, but this is one of the OG GAN cubes, which is super cool to have in the collection. Probably worth a lot of money these days, but I have these all for novelty, so I don't really care. Next up, we have another GAN cube. This is the GAN 14, I believe. Uh, no, this is the 13 because I have the matte finish on it. Really good cube. I like this thing a lot, but again, I think GAN peaked at like the 11M Pro, so I don't know. Uh, but definitely if you're looking for a GAN cube, buy an 11M Pro before they sell out because once those things are off the store shelves, I mean, I guarantee people are going to miss them. Anyway, Next, we have the RS3M V5 with the purple interior. Really cool, again, great cube. This thing was my main for maybe two months earlier this year. I really like this thing, highly recommend, very cheap. Next, we have my first ever Rubik's Cube. This is a like Rubik's brand, as you can tell by like the piece shape. It was since then, I think like my first year of cubing, I restickered it with GAN like 357 stickers. So as you can see, it's like all circular, like in the middle. So these stickers were originally on this cube. I restickered this, took the old ones, put it on here, which makes sense why it's all beat up. And I think I broke one of the pieces at one point and filled it with Play-Doh. It ended up still working, so pretty cool. But again, a lot of bubbles on the pieces, which again is not ideal. But this thing was a great cube to start with, and I modded the heck out of it back in the day. Next, we have the Yushin, Yuyin, I don't know what you guys call this. This is the Yushin Kylin. Um, this was a great cube. Was my main about two years ago, but now, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there's a magnet loose inside of it, and I just haven't taken the time to fix it, so I just kind of put it to the side. Really, really good cube, um, highly recommend. Next, this is the YJ Yulong, I think. Yeah, this is the YJ Yulong from like 2013, white plastic. This wasn't the greatest cube back in the day, but it was really fun to have because I know the old YouTuber JR Cuber uh, mained this cube. So I was like, I've got to try it. And it ended up being okay. But again, the Moyu Along V2 was definitely my main back then. Next up, we have a cube that I'm not sure what it is. So if you guys know, let me know in the comments. It might be a way long, maybe. No, that makes sense. Okay, no, this is definitely not a way long. This is the $3 next cube. And uh, they put the logo on the blue side. I am dumb. <laughs> okay, 
Next, we have another Rubik's brand. My sister gave me this. It was her old one that she could never solve, but this one's pretty untouched. Um, I like to keep it kind of like original looking so I can use it in some of my shorts, which is pretty fun. Not much to say about that. And then this was my backup main Rubik's brand <laughs> back in the day. There's the Play-Doh I fixed. So I had two of these. Um, yeah, I mean, there's not much to say about it. Again, I have the GAN stickers on it, which back in the day was about the cheapest thing you could buy. So really good cube to start with. But again, this is definitely not a speed cube. Pretty fun though. Next, we have the Cyclone Boys Metallic Cube, which I've got a cool pattern on. Um, this is super light for some reason. I never expected this to be a really light cube, but it was, I don't know. Cool to have in the collection. Again, not a WCA approved puzzle. Next, we have the Speed Cube Shop RS3M 2020. This is such a good cube. Really good for the price. I think it was my main for like, I don't even know, two or three years. It was a really good cube, but again, replaced by the V5 and the Super when those came out. Run to the end of the three by threes. This is the one I was unsure about. I'm not sure what the insides are. It might be a way long. That's what I've kind of come to the conclusion that this is. So if you guys know, let me know in the comments. I'm actually really curious, but it looked like the logo fell off at some point. I just don't remember what it is. So pretty cool. Next we have the Yushin. Man, I don't remember what this is called, but it's like the really cheap Yushin cube that like buy one, get one or whatever back in the day. Not great, stickers suck, pieces feel cheap, but it's a Yushin. I mean, you get what you pay for. Here's the third uh, mini cube I had, just found it sitting in the pile. We've got like six cubes left here. So we'll start with my other main. This is the Kong's Design Meiying. And this was my main for like seven years of my cubing career. Again, stickered with the half brights, love this thing. It is super loud, so you can't really cube in public. But again, this is one of the best turning cubes I think you could buy. And it's such a shame that Kong's design went out of business. Next up, we have my Moyu Along. I don't know if I can show that logo. Uh, this is the Along V2. Again, I modded this thing way back in the day. So you can kind of see the insides of the pieces are scratched up by sandpaper. But this was my main for, I guess, like one or two years. Again, really, really good cube. This thing was a game changer back in the day. Really fun to have that still in my collection. Next up, we have one a couple of you guys know about. This is my GAN 11M Pro that, well, I took a battle bot, a battle, or like a robot with saws on it, and I destroyed the cube for one of my videos. So if you guys seen that, that's an old one. Let me know in the comments, I'm curious. Next up, we have another cube that I'm not sure what it is. This might also be an Along, maybe an Along V1, but again, the logo kind of peeled off. Really good cube. I love Moyu. Moyu back in the day was like the best thing you could have gotten. So again, really cool. Two more cubes here. We've got the GAN 14 UV coated. Uh, it was okay. Um, it was only my main for like a day until I realized like every three solves, I'd have like a massive piece explosion. Just not ideal, especially for how much you pay for it. And I had it like on the tightest settings, so I'm not sure why it did that. Last cube is my most expensive three by three. This is the Fang Shi Illusion Cube from 2012. Uh, they only made a limited number of these and the last one that sold on eBay like two years ago went for like $700. So I'm guessing this costs around that much or just a little bit more um, not sure but again just hanging on to it for the time being with that being said we're going to go ahead and move on to smaller puzzles here we'll go down the chain so i've only got two two by twos so the first one is the moyu waypo i think i don't really practice two by two but i mean it turns okay for what i do but Again, I don't really practice two by two, so it doesn't really matter to me. Next was my first two by two. This is the die-in original plastic. 
Uh, I don't remember the other name for it. Maybe it's just called the Diane 2x2, but again, people went crazy over the original plastic, and these things used to be selling for hundreds and hundreds of dollars as well. So again, interesting, the community has kind of gone to that, but cool to have one in my collection. Next, we have one by ones. This is my custom one I made when I was a kid. Um, it's just a dice, as you can see in there, with Mo You Out Long stickers on it. So pretty cool. And then I wasn't able to find my other one, but I've got like the Speed Cube Shop, like actual one by one. So again, pretty cool. Next, we're going to move on to four by four, five by five, six by six, and seven by seven. That'll go pretty quick. I don't have a lot of those, but just enough to do a review on. All right, so my first ever 4x4 was the Moyu Weisu with a W. is the predecessor to the Osu with an A. Um, it's not good at all. It's really bad, but it was one of the best 4x4s at the time, so really cool to have. Next 4x4, not sure what brand this is. Again, no sticker on it, but I remember replacing the springs in this with a 3x3, and it made it, like, really good. It was a good main for a while, but again, I just don't remember what it was called at all. In my final 4x4, I have the, uh, man, what is this called? Like the Mei Ying? No, that can't be right. MF4RS maybe. Again, a really cheap replacement to my old one. But again, this is about the best thing I have. I don't practice 4x4 too much, so not really necessary to get anything better than that. Five by fives, I've got two of them. First, we've got the Moyu. Oh man, I forget what this is called. This was Moyu's first five by five, and I think they're still making these today, but with magnets. This is the non magnetized version. Um, and again, it was pretty good back in the day, but kind of been replaced. So, needed to get rid of it, but still have it on the collection. Next, we have again the cheap. Oh, man, I want to say this is the MF5RS. I forget what that stands for, but you guys know what I mean with that logo. Really good cube. I love this thing. It's my main. Again, I don't practice 5x5 five five too much, so it doesn't matter. But again, it's fun to have. Next up, we have my 6x6s. Six this is something I have in quite a few of my shorts. This is one of my 6x6s six I took apart. Um, for a video, I think it was a Moyu, but now it's just in pieces. So uh, one day I'll be motivated to put that back together. Uh, one other six by six. Again, we've got the man. This I, this is the Moyu. It's the Moyu six by six. I'm sorry, guys. I don't remember the name, but this thing was pretty fun. It's good. Don't practice six by six too much, so not really necessary. Now this is weird. These are both the same seven by seven. Um, I know the logos are different, but it's the same brand. Again, the same thing I've been showing you guys, but this one was just so much bigger on the right. So I'm unsure why that is, but again, this is my newer one um, that I just got. Forgot to film a review on it, but is pretty good. Really fun to solve. All right, so for like the miscellaneous uh, WCA puzzles, I've got, two Pyraminx here. This one on the right is the, I think it's like the 1973 Pyraminx, as you can kind of tell by the weird stickers and like the color of it. Really cool to have in the collection. Also, we have gold instead of yellow. Really cool to have, not really useful. And then this was my Moyu, I think, Pyraminx from back in the day. Pretty good. Again, I don't really practice Pyraminx, so not necessary to upgrade. But pretty cool to have. We have one uh, Skube, Moyu, Botch. I don't even know this brand. I need to like pause the video and look it up, but I'm too lazy. So we've got the cheap brand of Skube, just to say we have one. And then Square One, I think it's a Yushin, right? I've just never been able to solve it. I've gotten close, but man, Square One is rough. Anyway, we've got one final puzzle here. Not sure what brand or which puzzle this is, but it's the last WCA puzzle we have in the collection. So super fun to have. Next, we're gonna move on to large cube and then three by three shape mods. So we'll go
go ahead and get those large cubes. So to start off, I have two eight by eights. This is one that I had my subscribers uh, sign way back in the day, which was super fun, but super time consuming. This side kind of shredded off just by sitting in a box. Um, again, really cool to have you guys' names on a cube, just never ended up finishing it, um, but fun to have. I want to kind of repeat that series in the future. Next, we have an 8x8 that just came in the mail. This is the brand I've been looking for and couldn't find the name of. There it is, Maylong. It's the Maylong 8x8. Review coming soon. Pretty fun to have. Um, I've had a couple of these before. I just don't know where they went. But again, I love the Maylong series. Really fun way to get into big cubes. Next, we have my tape-colored Maylong 9x9, um, which is just kind of on pause from its repair. Because I don't know if you guys see that orange piece in there, but I snapped a piece off. So waiting on a replacement, and then we'll be able to finally finish this thing. Then my final large Maylong cube is the 10x10. Some of you guys have seen this in my shorts. Really fun to have, extremely fun to solve, but very time consuming. Hopefully getting larger and larger cubes soon. So kind of stay tuned for that. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the three by three shape mods. All right, so just a few three by three shape mods here. First, we have like the thermal cube that Rubik's brand makes. Pretty cool. Uh, once you heat up the pieces, they start showing color, which is super fun to solve. Um, but again, every time you solve it, you gotta throw it in the freezer and wait for it to cool off again. So that's the not fun part about that. Next, we have my Shang Shao mirror cube, which I spray painted black um, and didn't do a very good job on. So pretty cool, um, fun to have a mirror cube in the collection. Next up, we have the special edition holiday cube from Speed Cube Shop. Low key, I wanna peel these stickers off and just have the blue uh, translucent cube. Would be really cool, but I'm too nostalgic to peel the stickers off, so. Holding off on that for now, at least. Next, we have the Lego cube. Again, really fun. My girlfriend bought this for me last year for my birthday. So really cool to have this in the collection. Um, and I love sticking like little Lego minifigures to it while it's sitting. Next, we have the Axis cube or windmill cube, as some people say. I actually, I don't think this is a windmill cube, but you guys call it that. So cool. Um, I had to glue on the caps because they just always kept falling off. But other than that, for like $3, Moyu outdid themselves on that one. Next, we have the Lemon Shape Mod. One of the best fruit cubes. Super fun to solve. Um, a little bit challenging, but again, it's just a 3x3. Three three. Same thing with the Apple Cube. Fun and challenging, but again, just fun to have this thing in the collection. Five left here, we have the... Pandora cube, which is really sharp to turn for no reason. Like, look how sharp that thing is. But cool to have. It looks complicated. Um, and a lot of you guys ask, no, it does not turn on this axis, unfortunately. But fun to have, again. Next up here, we have the, oh man, it's the Sudoku cube. I've never scrambled this thing up. It looks freaking challenging, but... Again, cool to just have it and, you know, when people see my collection, they're impressed by this thing. Pretty cool. Next, we have the Sandwich Gear Cube. I used to love this thing. Still do. Um, eventually, I want to get a real, like, 3x3 gear cube. But for now, this thing is awesome. And just, like, watching the way it turns, man, it's just such a cool, one-of-a-kind cube to have. Next up, we have the DNA cube with a cube and a cube pattern, which is super fun. Um, really cool cube to have, and I love the patterns on it. Um, so you can't really beat that. And then final three by three shape mod, we have the twist cube, which is a fun cube and it's a huge challenge to solve. Um, the only thing is if you buy one of these, Make sure to tighten down all the cores because if this thing pops, it is a pain to reassemble. So just keep that in mind. But other than that, it's really fun. We've got a couple more puzzles here. We're gonna go ahead and move on to kind of the odds and ends and other puzzles. And then we'll be done with the video. First off, we've got my pin cube. 
I mean, this can kind of be seen as a three by three shape mod, but I just put it in the odds and ends pile because I think it's cool. Um, anyway, it's thinking hurts to solve and I need to replace one of the pins. So kind of out of commission for now. Next, we have the five by five pin cube, which only has three sides done on it. Um, if you guys know why I did that, let me know in the comments because I'm curious if anyone's figured it out yet, but um, it's more than just for holding it. We'll put it like that. Fun cube to have, hard cube to solve, that's for sure. And then the last pin cube I have is the four x four. Again, we've only got three sides done and I use the Maylon cubes for all of these. So again, really fun cubes to have. Next, we've got my 1980s Rubik's snake. Um, and yes, that's, that used to be white, but no longer is, unfortunately, just because of sun damage. But very, very cool cube to have. Next up, we have, I think it's like the corner cube or something like that. But this thing's kind of fun to solve, but you have to like have it set on a table like this to really enjoy it. Um, but it's a lot bigger than like a normal Rubik's cube for some reason. Um, but pretty cool, pretty fun. Next, we have the three by one by one floppy, I think is what it's called. Really cool cube. Girlfriend loves solving this, so definitely a blast. And then we've got the two by two or two by one by one floppy. Uh, again, really fun, but the caps fall off, so kind of unfortunate. Next, we've got two spinner cubes, but one's actually a spinner. And one of them just is a little bit more complicated with this inside piece and doesn't really spin. But again, these guys are super fun to have and to solve. Um, but the fidget spinner is definitely one of my favorites. Next up, we've got the banana cube. This is a two by two by three shape mod and it's super fun to solve. And this is the best part. Can't beat it. Next up, we've got the Pyramorphinx, um, which is rough to solve, but it turns very odd. So again, very fun to solve, very interesting to look at. And then its older brother, the Master Morphinx. This thing's basically a three by three, but again, very fun to solve, really cool to have. And the final puzzle in the collection, you guys guessed it, the Puppet Cube, which I cannot solve for the life of me. I need to just look up a tutorial for it. But um, again, very fun cube to have. Cool looking, cool turning, but very rough to solve. That is all of my Rubik's Cubes that are functional. I've got a couple others I can't really show because they're part of projects or broken or other reasons beyond that. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And again, let me know in the comments, how many of these did you have in your own personal collection? There's a lot of really cool and unique cubes in here. And well, I hope someday you guys can get your hands on all of these. With that being said, if you made it to this point in the video, comment Lego in the comments. So I know you made it till the end. With that being said, have a good one. Peace.